Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in today's video, just going to be a quick one. I'm going to cover some of the new features, some of the changes in uh, the latest releases of UiPress. All right, so let's get started. Um, if you haven't checked out the uh, plugin recently, then um, these two options up at the top here are going to be new for you. Uh, these were added in the last couple of releases. Uh, we're going to start with tools. Um, we've got two tools here. We've got the PHP error log, and that's available in the free version. And if you have the pro, we also have the role editor. Um, we're going to start with the error log. Um, this is a super helpful way to debug your site, um, see what's going on, if you're having potential issues with other plugins. Um, this is just a really quick way of getting into your PHP error log. Uh, we can just open that up here. Um, so straight away, you're going to see a nicely formatted uh, list of all your errors. Um, we have also can see the stack trace right here. Um, this whole thing is paged can navigate pretty easily, we can refresh. Yes, yeah, so it's just a really helpful way of uh, staying on top of any problems you might be having with your site and giving you insight into um, where those issues might be coming from. All right, so the next new feature we've got is the role editor. Um, here you can edit all of your um, WordPress roles. Uh, you can also create new roles and manage the capabilities. Uh, so we have a look at the administrator here. Um, we're going to have this little warning just saying, you know, this is the main role on the site. Uh, be super careful with what you change here. Make sure you don't lock yourself out, lock yourself out of anything. Um, got all the capabilities down here. You can toggle whatever you want on and off. Uh, make new uh, capabilities. And we can also clone this role. We can delete roles. Uh, we can rename them. Role editing is um, a pretty powerful way of controlling what your users on your site can and can't access. And you can really <clears throat> fine tune uh, everything within here as to what they can access within the WordPress admin. Cool, so the next new thing that we're gonna look at is the site settings up here. Uh, this was released a couple of weeks ago into UiPress. Um, most of these options are available in UiPress Lite. Um, just gives you some nice global options that work without having a template um, to apply to your whole site. So this first one we've got here is adding a plugin status. Um, what that does is uh, show you this little status bar here, um, whether something's active or inactive. Um, a pretty nice visual way of seeing what's going on with your plugin list. Uh, we've also got the ability to add post IDs to your um, post, custom post type pages. That'll all show up in the table. Um, super useful feature. Some of that I always find I have to add the plugin from the repository to do this. Um, this will just help you do that straight away. Um, we've also got the ability to add the last modified date in the plugin tables too. Uh, we've got the new site logos. Um, this is really great for building templates. Once you've set your logos here, they will apply. They will um, they will show up within the builder uh, as dynamic data. Um, so then, all of your templates, no matter how many you've got, admin pages, whatever, if you change the logo here, if they're using that in the template, then it will update. Um, we've also got the option to remove jQuery migrate uh, from the front end and the back end. Um, this is a very helpful feature, adding the user role. So you're currently logged in user. Their role is going to get added as a class to the, um, to the body. Uh, now, what this gives you the ability to do is role-based CSS. Um, so if you want to hide things for certain roles or uh, show things for certain roles or change the way something looks uh, per role, that will allow you to do that. Um, you can also now enqueue styles and scripts straight from um, files. They can be local or they can also be on another domain somewhere else. And we've got the HTML for head section. And the last option here is the ability to hide UiPress from the plugins table. So if you're using UiPress to wipe label WordPress and you don't want um, your clients to know uh, what plugin you're using to do that, that's uh, that's entirely possible down here. 
All right, so let's uh, jump in and look at the changes within the builder now. So let's just open up this template here. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing you might notice is there's a slight change to the way the layers look. Uh, nothing huge, but just visually it helps you see how everything's aligned, how it's all built. Um, but one of the biggest changes in an update we put out yesterday, uh, we have no more floating um, options that are going to show up as you hover over things. Uh, we've moved to a new system now, so you can actually just click on items like this and it's going to open up the settings. And we also have a contextual uh, right click option, which is going to allow you to set the settings um, or jump straight into the style of the element or the advanced. Um, this really streamlines the building process and just keeps all of those distracted hover options that we had before out of the way um, and just makes you able to jump into each item so much quicker. Um, it also has allowed us to introduce a new feature, which is the copy and paste option. So we can now copy elements and just paste them into a new, um, into a new container or whatever like that. Uh, very simple to use now. And uh, straight from here, we can also just duplicate items and delete without ever touching the layers or the block settings. Now, the other thing we've spent some time on and refactored a little bit is the block settings area itself. Um, all of the options are relatively still the same, but what we've done is split everything out. Um, before, when you would open up a block, you'd just be um, almost overwhelmed with a different amount of options that all kind of seem similar in one area. What we've done now <clears throat> is split this into four key sections. So we've got the block settings, and that's going to contain all of your usual options that you're used to seeing, like the tooltip, um, the responsive options, and then the block-specific options. So for example, we're on an off-canvas right now, so we can choose the icon, icon position, uh, panel position, and things like that. Uh, we've got the wrap section, and the wrap is almost like a container that sits around every single block. This allows you to set position options um, and also overflow and dimensions. Then we've got the style options. Um, it's relatively self-explanatory, but each element within the block has its own style. You can then set those as you wish. And finally, we've got the advanced section, and this is for your custom CSS, custom JavaScript, and custom classes. Now we have one last final feature um, into the builder right here, which is the block shortcuts. Um, this automatically uh, pulls out uh, key blocks within your template, uh, just so you can quickly jump into the settings of each one. Um, so we've got two menus in this template, one for mobile and one for desktop. Uh, it's just pulled those out and clicking on them will automatically find them within the layers panel, uh, select them and bring up its options. All right, uh, that's going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.